Welcome to Destiny 2. If you are searching for a free to play shooter then this might be your cup of tea. In this video I'll go through the various possibilities that you have as a free to play casual gamer as opposed to what a paying player can access. I would also like to encourage you to have a look around on this channel, you'll find several videos on strikes, campaign, gameplay and the beginner's guide already to give you a nice impression of what the game feels like. Links will be provided in the description down below. So let's dive together into the pros and cons of this game, should you decide not to pay a single penny. When you first start the free to play experience, you'll start in the Cosmodrome where you'll first complete a tutorial on the various mechanics of your class, such as the super ability, grenades, evades and the melee attack, as well as some first missions. You'll soon discover lost sectors, free public events and strikes. Lost sectors are areas on the maps that can be freely accessed and are comparable to mini dungeons with a boss at the end. Some contain puzzles that you need to solve to be able to continue, others are fairly straightforward. I would recommend to go and try out the lost sectors in Savathun's throne world as these have more backstory and more intricate mechanisms than the early lost sectors in the Cosmodrome. Public events then can be freely accessed by simply moving up to the flag on the map and accessing them. It allows for beginning players to easily team up with other guardians as you don't have any friends or clans yet. These public events feature some missions that need to be executed and gives rewards if completed. On the map you'll also notice these blue icons. These are strikes that came from different past expansions which you cannot access directly on the map, as you can see here. However, if you go to the Vanguard Strikes Ops, you'll notice that all strikes are accessible there, but in a random order. So what about story content? On the Witch Queen front, you'll notice that only two missions are available for free-to-play players like me and you. The classic campaign provides a storyline and gives you basic rewards, whereas the legendary difficulty provides better rewards and gear. The missions can be freely accessed, but you'll have to buy the expansion to access the other six remaining missions. In my honest opinion, if I would ever buy in-game content of a free-to-play game, it would not be on cosmetics or weapons, but it would be here, where you actually get content-driven storytelling and immersive Destiny 2 lore to enjoy. Now, Destiny 2 was not always free-to-play in the past, but Bungie changed the paid structure to a free-to-play game with a seasonal pass type of implementation, along with expansions that you can buy. The available missions of past expansions can be found on the Moon, for example, and on Europa. The Moon provides the Shadowkeep expansion. This marks the start of the free-to-play system back in 2017. And Europa provides the Beyond Light introductory missions for this expansion. If you do not have access to these locations, go check out the Vault in the Tower. You can select the missions there, after which you'll be able to go to these destinations and explore the lost sectors and public events, as well as the first mission of these expansions. Today, no campaign can be played in its entirety, you'll have to buy the expansion packs, but once in a while Bungie will release expansion content that is accessible to everyone, and most of the time this is right before a new expansion is being released. The last thing of free to play content that I wanted to show you is the seasonal 30th anniversary pack with Zur's missions along with the Days of Eternity. These are fun missions you can complete and are entirely free. They do not weigh in on Destiny 2 stories and background but are fun to change things up once in a while. Increase your rank further with Zur, Commanders of Allah and Shax, as well as the Gunsmith by completing their missions and bounties to further increase your rewards. This means that Strikes, Gambits, Crucibles and Legends can also be freely accessed. Trials of Osiris are not available for free-to-play members of the Destiny 2 community, though I hear a lot about it but never experienced it myself. So in conclusion, the pros for Destiny 2 can be summed up in the great graphics and music of the game, lots of content is available on a free to play basis, storylines are well written and worth exploring. On the downside you cannot access the full campaign and you'll probably need to pay the full content expansions to be competitive in the Crucible. 
All in all, a great game that I would want to spend my actual money on to be able to buy the full campaign. So this marks the end of the video, I tried to explain it as briefly as possible. If you want to see more of this content, let me know and please subscribe to my channel and we'll see each other in the next one.